Have you ever wanted to travel full time or just wanted to travel for extended periods of time but not sure how to make it financially work or where you would even stay? Or are you a digital nomad who's traveling already but wants to find more budget friendly options for long term stays? If so, then this video is for you. I'm Crystal of Von Halle Adventures, and for the past three years, my husband and I have been traveling around the world full time. For the first couple years, we were in our van in the USA, but then we decided to start traveling more abroad. And when we started, we were using Airbnbs and hotels, but it became very expensive. And I don't think it's a shock to anybody that Airbnb prices have gotten a little bit bananas over the past few years. I'm not trying to knock Airbnb 100% because there is a time and a place when they can work really well. But if you want to stay somewhere for longer than two weeks, have a kitchen and feel really integrated like you are living somewhere, then Airbnb, VRBO, and hotels just really don't cut it. But sometimes that feels like all you have a choice for. And these places generally don't give a discount, if at all, if you're staying for longer than a month. So we've spent a lot of money the past few years from trial and error trying to figure out how to make being a digital nomad actually doable for us. We're here in beautiful Madeira, which is part of Portugal, but off the coast of Africa. It's known as the Hawaii of Europe. There's hiking galore, tropical fruit. It's really laid back and easy to get around. There's incredible scenery, swimming, snorkeling, all of the amazing outdoor things you can think of. They have it here. Visiting places like this for long periods of time seemed way too expensive for us in the past, but not anymore. We found an inexpensive accommodation for nomads called Fladio. Today, I'm gonna to show you where we are staying, how much it is, and how we landed this place for such a great price. So this big building behind me is our apartment building. There's a restaurant in front. We have a street right out front. It's walking distance to all the shops and restaurants and only 30 minutes from the center of Old Town. So let's go inside and check it out. We also have a parking area here. So if you have a rental car, you could also park here. Pretty tight spaces, but it works. I like that the apartment building also has a lock on the outside. It just feels a little bit safer too, even though it's really safe here. So this is our flat. This is where we've been living for the past couple of weeks. Come on, Liv. This particular apartment has a pretty small kitchen, though we have also stayed in a different apartment that had a kitchen probably three times the size when we've done this. But this has been working pretty well because it's really inexpensive to also eat out here. So we've been eating out a little bit more than usual. But we have everything we need here. We have a chopping board, we have a stove, we have all the appliances that we need. We even have a blender, which is so nice, especially here in the Madeira Islands. So much tropical fruit here, it's amazing. And we have a lot of different storage here, which is nice. And of course, a full size fridge. So these type of flats are actually made for living in. You know, sometimes when you stay in an Airbnb, they really are for short term stays. Everything that you're going to find on the website, which I'm about to tell you about, is made for longer term. So everything you really need is here. The only thing you might not get is spices and food and things like that, which you'll need to pick up on your own. This is our beautiful living area. Brian and I got a studio. We don't need a lot of room, so this was just perfect for us. But we have a workstation, which is nice, and we have incredible Wi-Fi here, which is super helpful because we both need to be able to work online and upload our YouTube videos. And they upload really fast here, which is great. One of my favorite things about this apartment is there is a lot of storage and there's also room to work out. And this is common in all these apartments generally. So these are easily movable so we can lay down our yoga mats here and be able to work out or we can work out on our balcony in the morning. We also have a TV so we have Netflix and all that sort of stuff. Cool cozy little couch. This also has an extra bed in it which is nice just in case we, I don't know, in case somebody wanted to pop in for a night or two or whatever. And then we have our big cozy bed. Of course you need a bed, right? When you're staying anywhere. So Brian and I, have plenty of room. It's a nice, decent sized bed. And one of my, also one of my favorite things about this particular flat is that 
We have windows. We have so much bright light in here, which is nice because we are only one block from the water here. And while we can't see the water, it's just so beautiful in the morning. We've been getting incredible sunrises here in Madeira, which is great. So we have like lots of just, it's just really nice to, you know, be in bed and be able to look out in the morning, especially when you are in a smaller studio. I would never want to be like in a basement studio, you know? And so of course, here's all the storage. So we have plenty of storage for all our stuff. We even have a place to put our suitcases, which is something I always think about when we're traveling. Where are our suitcases gonna go if we're gonna be staying somewhere? We wanna take all our stuff out and be able to hang it and put it in drawers rather than live out of a suitcase, especially since we travel full time. If you do, you know what I mean. It's like, you don't wanna always feel like you're in a suitcase. And now is our bathroom. Oh look, there's Brian, he found the <laughs> We have a nice big shower in this place as well which is so nice, like there's just plenty of room. And so we have plenty of storage also as well. Pretty simple, but really doable. This place for an entire month is 1350 USD. However, there are plenty of options for all different budgets. And we got this from Fladio. Fladio is generally long-term stays at affordable prices. And when we heard about this, we were like, what? How is this even possible? Because this stay, if I looked for something similar on Airbnb, it would be two to three times the cost at least. Most of the stays on Fladio are in or near the city center as well. That way they're all very walkable, which is one thing Brian and I really appreciate because we don't always want to rent a car. They're usually near bus stations or near transportation in some way. So that is definitely a plus, I would say, to this site. Fladio has places all over in Europe. I've been checking out a ton of different options online for Brian and I's travels. We just stayed in Budapest and our stay there was only, I think we've paid a little under 500 US dollars per two week stay in the heart of Budapest. That's absolutely amazing. And you could get all different kinds of deals on Flatio for places that you would think would be far too expensive, or at least what we thought was far too expensive to stay long-term like this. Let's show you the outside balcony. This is our balcony. It's a little bit of a mess, but I wanted to give you guys a realistic view because we are living here so you can get an actual idea of, you know, what it's like. But we have a washer inside the flat as well, which is so nice. And we are able to just dry our clothes out here, of course, because we're in this beautiful weather. I think it's about 70 degrees Fahrenheit every single day. It's been so nice. So we have a clothesline out here and we have a little table. We also have enough room to work out out here as well. That way one of us can work out outside and one of us can work out inside. And so this is just kind of nice. We don't have too much of a view, but it's really chill here. But, and it's just nice to have a balcony, you know? It's a decent size as well, which I really like. Fladio is not available in the US as of the date filming this vlog, just an FYI. I'm not quite sure if they plan to do that in the future, but this is a great way to be able to see the world, be able to work and just enjoy yourself and for doing it even cheaper than you would often, you know, be able to stay in the US. We think it's really awesome. What do you guys think? Is this something you all would be interested in trying? I'm curious what you guys think of this. We think that this is an absolutely incredible way to now see the world at a budget-friendly price, especially for those of you that are going, how am I gonna make it work? This is definitely maybe one of the more expensive stays, but you can go so many places for under $1,000 a month. Ooh. You can even get private rooms if you don't want a place to yourself and have more of co-working spaces. So one of the things Brian and I get emails about most often with questions from all of you from our audience that have been watching for a long term is what do we do for work and how do we afford to travel full time? This is one of the ways we are able to afford to travel internationally full time now. Flatio has very specific criteria for their stays, unlike Airbnb or VRBO or hotels. They are looking for really great internet connection. That way you can continue to work and live. So Flatio is really made for work and live, though you could come here and just be like, I just wanna stay long term. I just want a vacation for two weeks, 30 days, whatever it is. They're great for that. So we're looking for a reliable internet connection and a workstation, a kitchen, and a place to be able to chill, meditate, or work out. So they have some pretty different criteria on Fladio than they will on Airbnb or VRBO because this is really made for you to work and live. Does that make sense? So Bride and I are part of the Nomad Inspectors Club. So we got this stay 
uh, for free to actually check the Wi-Fi speed to make sure it was accurate and it was up to speed, which it was. It was absolutely incredible why we've been here. And to make sure that everything is ordered, the listing is accurate for the description, and that way we could give feedback to Flatio to let them know how those landlords are. We've had an incredible time being able to test this out, see how it's going. And so far, we really like Flatio, you guys. We're gonna continue to use them. We've already done the one stay in Budapest that we paid for on our own. We can continue to use this when we are in Europe. If you wanna join the Nomad Inspectors Club, I'll also put some information down below so you can check that out, so you can give these places a try. See, even if even if you like Flatio, I mean, we like it, but I think it's always good to try out something yourself as well. This is something I set up, actually, and then I told Brian, hey, guess what we're doing this winter? <laughs> <laughs> but like, I think it's been amazing. What have yeah. you thought about it? I love it. I love the price, which is great, because you can stay somewhere you never thought you would be able to stay for a long period of time. Yeah, And usually the choices that you get, they're like right where you want to be, walking distance to uh, get the place that you want to go to. Yeah, I can't complain. Yeah, and if you all are curious about this specific stay here in Funchal in Portugal, uh, we'll be coming out with a couple of videos so you can just check out this area and see if it's somewhere you would want to go. I'm 100% loving this. I'm also yeah. going to mention because of the prices of fuel in the U.S. for those that are van lifers, it is almost the same price to or cheaper to live abroad now doing this than it is for us to be in our camper van in the U.S. Because whenever in the winter time we used to go from all the way from Seattle all the way down to Joshua Tree and just the gas for that, you know, I think to get back is, you know, a lot. Plus the gas you're using when you're down there, it all costs about almost the same as it would be to live in Portugal on an island for a month. <laughs> That's kind of bananas. Yeah. yeah, we're gonna be coming out with uh, more videos. If you all are curious, please let us know down in the comments below about just different mistakes we've made being nomads or just traveling full-time in general and the mistakes we've made for paying way more than we should have for flights, for hotels, for just all different things and different tips like that. Let us know if you're kind of curious and you want more videos like this. We'd be happy to share. Yeah. Yeah. So. Again, check out the links below to check out more Flatio. See if it's a good fit for you. We think it's great. And if you know someone that might appreciate this, you have a, a traveler in your life, be sure to share this video with them as well. Yeah. We'll catch you all in the next one. Bye guys. <laughs>